Louisiana Beer Reviews, Shiner 102, uh, Double Wheat. Shiner 102 Double Wheat was introduced in 2011 as the 100th and 2nd anniversary of uh, Shiner Brewing Company, Spotsil Brewing Company in Shiner, Texas. This is 6.2% alcohol, it says malty, sweet, filtered wheat. Uh, it says this is a hybrid between wheat beer and wheat wine ale. Smooth filtered double wheat ale pours a pale straw color with hints of sweetness. Check size and Washington Golding's hops. It says 50% wheat malt. I've never had this before. Uh, gets a fine rating on the beer and me. Gets a C plus on beer advocate. And it gets a so-so rating on rapier. This is a warm November day here in Louisiana. It's about 65 degrees last night. It's going to be about 82 today. Sun's starting to come out a little bit. Hmm. This be a twist cap. Okay. Hands were slipping. A lot of smoke with this thing. A lot of smoke, but <laughs> where's the head on this beer? There's a very thin, and I mean very thin, quickly dissipating white head, and it's filtered, so there's a clear golden appearance with some slow bubbles streaming up. I expect it to be head, you know, foam everywhere, but there's not much, so. Let's go with the smell test. <sighs> you get some, uh, like a Roman meal bread aroma if you ever had Roman meal bread. molasses type aroma molasses smell and uh, some spiciness some kind of way maybe I don't know what that is all right taste test I think that's an alcohol flavor that you initially get. Slight burn. It's not heavy though. And some uh, carbonation sting. Yeah, maybe that that Roman meal bread flavor. Just like a wheat bread. Maybe a slight honey. I, I don't know, it's hard to define this beer. Uh, it's got a really weird taste. The body is medium. A little bit bitter there in the uh, middle to end of the sip. The finish is um, kind of slick. I usually find Shiner beers to be kind of dull and blah. I mean, they're not bad. They're okay. I don't mind drinking them. This has a little more character to it. It's not super bold or anything, but uh, and I don't usually really like wheat beers too much keep reviewing wheat beers and buying them but I don't really like them but anyway uh, but I try to rate them and you know be fair rating them
carbonation seems kind of high. It's got some kind of metallic taste there. Which can't be from the bottle. Must be from the, the tank. The aging tank. I don't know. This is a weird beer. I bought it at um... Therns and Laplace was six ninety nine. So I think it was a fairly good price. You know, now that I'm drinking I'm getting my mind, you know, kind of uh straightened out on this. I would describe this as a malt liquor wheat beer. You know, that's what it's reminding me of. Yeah, it's like, um, it's like Magnum Premium Malt Liquor. Okay, so if you like Magnum and you like malt liquor in general and you like Roman meal bread, then you'll probably like this. So, uh, yeah, it's a, uh, that's what it is. It's a malt liquor or in Canada, extra strong beer. A malt liquor wheat wheat beer, if that makes any sense. So it's growing on me, it's growing on me. I give it a B minus. I mean it's good but just so but I'll probably like it more as I drink through the six pack. Seems like every time I drink any kind of beer, the more I drink it the more I like it. Even if Sometimes I hate them at first. Although with earthquake and and um, dog bite, ugh, just thinking about it, I drank through the whole 24 ounce of those two, and I still have to grip my teeth thinking about it. Those made me so sick. They're so uh, I don't know what kind of ingredients those have. After that, everything's good, I think. But anyway, um. This is all right. So, laissez le bon temps roulé. This is a pretty good beer. B minus. And I'm gonna end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Louisiana and go to an LSU football game.